Hello and welcome everyone to this week's edition of TBC Weekly Virtual News for the week of January 30th, 2023. I want to invite everyone to join us beginning this upcoming Wednesday as we share in our 10-day devotional for the month of February, Black History Month. You can find the plan on Uversion for those who subscribe to Uversion and follow us there. You will find the plan right there to journey with us any point during the month of February for 10 days as we look at Black History Month and the Bible. I also want to remind all of our church members to meet us on this upcoming Thursday, February 2nd, 7 o'clock p.m. for our quarterly church conference. It will be live in person. It will also be held via Zoom. And the link will be sent to each and every member one hour prior to the meeting for those who are unable to attend. Bible study for the month of February. We will be gathering live and in person at 12 o'clock noon every Wednesday as we journey in Wednesdays in the Word. Our seven o'clock study will be virtual strictly virtual on the 1st, the 8th, and the 15th. We want you to join us, whether at 12 o'clock noon or 7 o'clock p.m., as we begin this special study during the month of February entitled, God Through Black Eyes. We're gonna look at how God is interpreted through the eyes of African Americans. It's gonna be an exciting study, and I want you to join us Wednesdays at 12 noon, or virtually at 7 o'clock p.m. And then save the date, February 22nd. That's Ash Wednesday. We will be right here in the sanctuary for a special night of prayer as we begin the Lenten season. We want you to join us in all of these events because these are opportunities for you and for me to not only grow individually, but for us to grow collectively. So please make plans to join us I want to remind you in closing today that your giving is important to the life of the church. Thank you for all of you all who've been given generously, faithfully, sacrificially, and uh, uh, or consistently over the course of the last years. I want to encourage each of you today to continue in your giving because the church is only as efficient as the people are generous. And I want to ask you a question. What if God were to bless you on the level that you give? What if God were to bless you in response to your giving? I hope and pray, I hope and pray that you seize that in your heart and you recognize the importance of being a part of the body of Christ because God is doing some wonderful things here at Third Baptist Church. So join us in this new year the year of the disciplined believer as we begin to further our growth, further our service, further our giving, and furthering our fellowship to the glory of our God. You be encouraged and you be blessed and we will be seeing you around in the days to come.